All right, here's another uh, update. I went around the block um, one time, then stopped, and went around the block again. And my engine temp is, it's a pretty nice day, like I said. If I could get my phone to, I have a 160 thermostat, and I'm letting it sit here run for a minute. Of course, it's, uh, it's in park, but I'm letting it run to try and build the uh, under the hood temps to see what's going to happen when I open the hood up. So let's take a look. And yeah, I got a lifter ticking. It's not a lifter. It's, it's a rocker arm hitting the hold downs. pretty hot under here and it's still got plenty of fuel in it don't have any leaks or anything I don't know I'm thinking that uh I'm thinking that uh, gasket, I'm thinking it helped because uh, normally it would, running this long, it would have gone down already. And this is a, uh, now I know it says SPF, that's small block Ford, but Ford Chevy, I think. And this is a big block motor car is what I put it on, so uh, with that chrome, uh, let it sit here and run for a minute. Even though it's only about 68 degrees out, she's getting hot. The hood's hot. I see it is starting to go down. But not much, it's a whole lot better than it was. We'll let it sit here for another few minutes. Kind of simulating if I were sitting in some traffic or to at a stoplight. And this is usually what starts to happen after they start to sit for a few minutes and it gets hot under the hood, then uh, the fuel pressure goes down. And I actually have a, I actually have a little mirror. I wonder if I can, where's that mirror, here it is. It's at 190, so it's got to be hot under the hood. And there it is, all but gone. It has stopped pumping.
So hopefully that got you a, a view of the spray. And then it's kind of hard to see as well, but I wrapped a sponge around the uh, top of the fuel pump so it would, uh, you can see it there, you can see the sponge. I don't have my flashlight on me, but uh, I drove it for, you know, probably 20 miles and it's, you know, mid 80s today, pretty hot and the sun is very hot. And I was in a little bit of traffic, not heavy. I was moving most of the time. I only got stuck at maybe one stoplight. But I was doing 55, 60. And, uh, you know, you can see. And when I pulled up here, this is the first time I stopped. My uh, fuel filter was almost completely full of fuel. Now, without that spray of water on it every so often. And uh, hooking this hose up. I bought this hose on the big box door. And I uh, was able to hook it right to these holes that I'd already drilled, you know, into the, I had already had these holes drilled. Now you could, if you had a similar issue, you could, you know, there's some space over here that goes through. If you have a, you know, a classic car that you don't want to carve up, you also maybe could, you know, hook that hose down to the bottom of the car somehow uh, to get you some airflow. But I put that on and it was only $20 for that hose and it fit perfectly. And as you can see, it points right at the fuel pump so when I'm cruising when I come to a stoplight or every once in a while I'll just shoot a little bit of water on the with the pump and uh, here's the pumping system is here that was an old tank that happened to fit in there <clears throat> it fit right inside the wheel well perfectly and all I did was silicone it in so that way if I want to remove it I haven't done too much alteration to the car I haven't even drilled any holes and then there's a little $5 pump that I got in one of the big box stores. It's actually for a windshield wiper uh, fluid pump. And uh, it was uh, used or discounted or whatever, so I uh, hardly paid anything for it. So what I did was I hooked it in uh, a wire <clears throat> and hooked it right into the factory harness here, which is the uh, washer, uh, goes to the uh, washer switch. So which I wasn't using anyway, I don't even have, uh, my wipers don't even work, so, you know, when I push that and hold it down for three or four or five seconds, it sprays water onto the fuel pump, and it gets soaked up into that sponge, and lets it drip down, and, you know, water stays on the fuel pump, and if I'm running, that water, as it gets blown dry, cools off the fuel pump, and uh, it looks like I've, at least for my purposes, I'm not going to California and back, and I'm in Georgia. So for driving around town, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, whatever car shows, um, it looks like this should be good enough until I get my uh, electric fuel pump system hooked up. And uh, it's easy enough to do on this car. I already put the bracket on, and the bracket's down there on the frame rail somewhere. And then I'm just going to run the line up through here and put my regulator right here and then I'm gonna wire it in so I'm gonna have both the mechanical and the electrical that way if the electrical fails I'll, you can still run with the mechanical so yeah I think that's gonna be the end of this story it's been taking me a while to to somewhat get this figured out because uh, because of the extreme heats here in the south and uh, um, today by the way the looks of this right here um, that looks pretty good I think I can live with that you know, like I said, sitting in traffic, you know, on a Monday morning going to downtown. No, it probably, it, I might be able to make it, but I guarantee you there wouldn't be this much fuel in here. There'd just be too much, you know, under, uh, too much under hood heat. And I have ordered a small three inch Atwood blower. It was supposed to come a couple days ago and I probably would have already had it installed. Uh, but for some reason, um, the online store uh, decided to delay my package. It was supposed to show up today. It'll probably show up late, but I might even put it. It's a it's a three inch blower. I could put it right here, right up against here. Hook this pipe in, and uh, the thing is, I'd have to run another power source to it. Either that, or I could use the power source for my horns. But then I'd have to disconnect my horns. Um, 
I don't know. So for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And, uh, and yeah, and see how that does. It should last me for the rest of the summer with this, uh, with this uh, goofy crap that they got uh, going on here with, uh, in the country, in the world. Uh, there's not many car shows to go to, so all I can do is drive it around the block a couple times, and, and uh, that works fine just for that. So, um, you know, everything's hidden, so you can't even see the hoses hardly. You don't even know the system's really, you know, in there. I know it's very unorthodox, but uh, I don't know. Um, it's what I came up with, and it seems to be working pretty good. So I hope uh, I'm going to put this video together with a bunch of other ones that I got over the course of trying to get this figured out. And uh, maybe if you can get some tips or tricks, or maybe you just, you know, say, hey, I've got to go to electric. You know, forget all this business. That's I certainly understand it because that's eventually that's what I'm going to go to as well. So happy motoring and uh, have a have a great time out there. Be safe and uh, we'll uh, look forward to my next video. Like and subscribe if you will. If you'd help me out I'm trying to build my channel and uh, it takes a lot of time and energy to to do the work and to uh, edit my own videos and paste them online. So uh, I'm not getting any uh, anything from it. Just kind of trying to help some folks out it's always good to see something you know in advance before you tear into you know your own project and uh knowledge is power right okay folks take care